Hi everyone, it's only about 5.30. I've, I wanted to get an early start on things because uh, I'm working in my lawyer's office all day. But this might be my only video for today and I just wanted to give you a little fun fact. As you know, I'm, I'm sat here because of uh, my cross-border legal aid in civil cases. Uh, been granted three times and not a penny has been paid for any translation, legal fees or travel expenses. Uh, completely against all the EU regulations. But anyway, that aside, did you know I was assaulted twice by my property developer? And on, a, on the second assault, I had to fly back and forth as a witness for the state under subpoena for two years. And I was always told that I would get my money back in the end. It took me 22 hours under cross-examination for an assault that took five, 10 minutes, six trips alone just for my cross-examination. I spent months away from my family and they never paid me a penny back. It added up to 12,000 euros. 12,000 euros. Because you can't fly an easy jet flight and book it months in advance. You're told, go away, the accused hasn't turned up, come back next week. So you have to weigh up, is it cheaper to stay in a hotel or, is it, or, or should I fly back and forth and exhaust myself? They broke me over those two years. You know, some would say that those in the judiciary absolutely hate the British. And I tell you, I'd find that very hard to disagree with. There's thousands of us flying back and forth all the time for nothing. Now I'm living in a tent. Oh yeah, I forgot to give you the punchline, didn't I? Yeah, after those two years of attending court, they were given a suspended sentence. Why? Because apparently they were always willing to plead guilty to a lesser charge instead of the GBH to ABH. Always willing to plead guilty. Put up a fight for two years. And then I had a two year civil case, which we won and I've had no damages. No damages 12 years after the assault. 